under Coach Hayden Fry are led by senior quarterback Mark Plassig. He finally got a chance to play with the graduation of Chuck Long. The Hawkeyes finished 8-3 and, and third in Big Ten play. Tonight, they meet the hometown Aztecs of San Diego State. Their potent attack quarterback by Todd Santos, a junior ranked fifth in the NCAA passing efficiency. The Aztecs finish their season with a big win over BYU to take the WAC title for new coach Denny Stoll. The following is a presentation of the Holiday Bowl Television Network. The Holiday Bowl is brought to you in part by John Hancock Financial Services, Morningside College, the affordable difference. Hope Motors, your 4x4 headquarters for Northwest Iowa. And by Midwest Electric and your local Amana dealer. San Diego's Jack Murphy Stadium. A gorgeous night in Southern California. A sellout crowd of more than 60,000 to see the Iowa Hawkeyes and the San Diego State Aztecs. And a very pleasant good evening, everybody. We're happy to have you with us. Jay Randolph to call the play-by-play -play and alongside to analyze the action night. Great to have former Colorado All-American, great star in the NFL with Cleveland, Dave Logan alongside. Dave, this is a dandy. Of course, everybody knows about Iowa, tremendous football program. But the big Cinderella story here, of course, is San Diego. The Aztecs, what a turnaround. Well, Jay, needless to say, the people in San Diego are extremely pleased with what Denny Stoltz did in his first year here in San Diego. Last year, they finished sixth in the WAC. This year, they win their first ever WAC title, and Denny Stoltz is named WAC Coach of the Year. And as you mentioned on the other side, Hayden Fry continues to roll right along six straight seasons of eight wins or more. Some very talented performers in this game tonight. Let's check in now with Coach Hayden Fry to give us his keys. Well, it's very unusual offensive football team this year. We'd have to begin really with our left offensive tackle, Dave Crossman, 6'5", 285-pound uh, blocker who's really an outstanding pass blocker. In the backfield, we've been injured off and on all year with the exception of one fella, and we've been able to keep him healthy, and as a result, he's over a 1,000-yard rusher. His name is Rick Bayless, number 13. He also leads the team in receptions. Uh, we'll begin... Uh, our quarterback today will be Mark Velasic. Uh, he's not completely healthy, but he's healthy enough that uh, he should be able to do an adequate job. Uh, if he goes down, then we'll go to Tom Paul Husky as the number two quarterback. And defensively, you've had a very good year. You've got some standout performers as well. Well, that's true. We have an exceptional player in Jeff Dross, the left defensive tackle, number 76. He goes about 6'6", 290, and uh, he's a very intimidating type of defensive football player. We have uh, excellent linebackers in George Davis, uh, number 37, and Dan Worth, uh, number 36. They're both outstanding. Worth is starting tonight because Brad Quast cannot play. And Brad Quast named the outstanding freshman linebacker in the country this year by the Sporting News, so his loss will be felt. He has a nerve injury in his neck. Well, San Diego State, their new man, Denny Stoles, talks about the Aztecs. Well, Bob Awall, our tight end, is a great football player, and Todd Santos, our quarterback, and Chris Hardy and Corey Gilmore are good players. And Doug Aronson's an all-league uh, guard, and that's really helped us offensively. And Randy Kirk on defense, and Richard Brown, two of our linebackers, have done well. And Mario Mitchell, a secondary player, has played well for us. And Levy Asini, our tackle. So we've had some fine players. Any concern of yours that, that physically it will be difficult for you to match up with Iowa? I don't think we match up physically. I think they're quite a bit bigger than we are and quite a bit stronger. We hope that maybe we're a little bit quicker, and that may be the advantage that we have. San Diego State's overcome adversity all season long. Anthony Conyers, their fine wide receivers out of the game. So is Clarence Nunn, their starting right cornerback. Both players failing the new NCAA drug testing prior to this bowl game. And Jay Anthony Conyers, their best wide receiver to date, had, had more catches than any other wide receiver, more yardage, and uh, that's a big loss for the Aztecs. We're getting close to the kickoff for this Holiday Bowl. Come back and join us here in San Diego right after these messages. The Southwest at about five miles an hour. For the Iowa Hawkeyes, the Hayden Fry era continues. Fry, born in Eastland, Texas, his eighth bowl game as a coach, three with SMU, five at Iowa, six straight for the Hawkeyes. And across the way from him, Denny Stoll, 
a return to glory for the San Diego State Aztecs. They haven't had football fever in this part of the world since the days of Don Coriel coaching the Aztecs. Stoles born in Lansing, Michigan. He was 52 last September. San Diego State in their all-black uniforms. That's been a tradition here since October 12th of 1963. And they're in, of course, the red helmets. And across the way, Iowa, the Hawkeyes of Hayden Fry in their white jerseys with the gold pants and the black striping. Coach Fry, a man who has done much in his career, one of the items I well remember was that he broke the color barrier in the Southwest Conference when he recruited Jerry Levias there at SMU. San Diego State has won the toss. The Iowa Hawkeyes use Marv Cook to do the kicking. He is also a tight end. Cook 6'4", a junior from West Branch, Iowa. And he's a top tackler on the special teams as well as kicking off. It'll be Corey Gilmore, number 30, and Monty Gilbreth, number 81, back to return. Well, we hope you'll enjoy this wherever you are tonight as Iowa, the Hawkeyes, San Diego State, the Aztecs are set for this Holiday Bowl action. Cook put it in play. This is Gilmore bringing it back. Gilmore down at about the 26-yard line. The stop made by J.J. Puck, number 32, a reserve linebacker from Cedar Rapids. Here's Todd Santos. And this is an outstanding quarterback, one of the best. 7,493 yards and 44 touchdowns in his career. Just a junior. He is from Selma, California, the team's most valuable player. They'll start from the 26-yard line. Brett Blanchard is a wide receiver, number 83. 34 coming in motion is Hardy. And trouble for Santos as he goes down back at the 17-yard line. Leading the way was John Breeze, the junior, number 57. A starter since the spring, and he's done an excellent job. It's Santos with Hardy and Gilmore in the San Diego State backfield. Gilbreth playing where Anthony Conyers normally would. Awalt, fine tight end, and Brett Blanchard. Knudsen, Aronson, Wells, Haggio, and DeRocher. A loss on the play. It'll be second down and 18. And a little delay in the handoff to Gilmore. Gilmore over the 25 and back to the original line of scrimmage Joe Mott number 97 making the tackle for Iowa here's the defense Mott Drost Hate Breeze and Gear for Iowa big bunch Worth and Davis of the linebackers in the secondary Sims Burt Crow and Smiley Jay, you'll see early that San Diego State feels like they're going to have to do a variety of things offensively against this very big Iowa defense. You'll see draws, you'll see screens, you'll see just about anything on the offense. On third down. The toss over the middle, and he had a man wide open, Kenny Moore, and threw behind him. Santos had Moore, the 5'11", 180-pound senior from Los Angeles, wide open over the middle. But it'll bring up fourth down, and punting time for San Diego State and Wayne Ross, their junior from Tulare, California. Ross averaging 40.3. Peter Marciano, number 26, is downfield. Marciano, the nephew of the late heavyweight champion. A line drive shot. Marciano trying to come up and get it. Let it get by him, and it goes all the way down to the 20-yard line. And a very fine punt of 52 yards for Wayne Ross. Coming in to handle the offense, Mark Vlasic from Monica, Pennsylvania, the senior. Four and two as a starter. He came off the bench at Minnesota to rally his club.
Both these clubs with identical 8-3 records coming into today's game. Morrow is the receiver at the top of the screen, number 47. Win early, the other receiver, and early set left. The handoff to Rick Bayless. Bayless, number 13, gets a couple. Stop made by Randy Kirk, number 35, for San Diego State. Classic with early Bayless and Bass for Iowa. Morrow and Flag. Flag's a very fine tight end, and they use Flag and Cook both tight ends quite often. Big, big line here. Frosten, Gamble, Sindlinger, Cratch, and Wester. Second down and six from the 24-yard line. Off the right side, Bayless banging to the 30-yard line and very close to a first down. Bayless with 1,040 yards, a 5.3 average on the year. Steve Lauder, the strong safety, number 20, made the play. This is the concern as we look at the defense, first of all. And it's Brett Farinez along with Levy Asseni, Dwayne Pettit, and Mike Hooper for San Diego State. Kirk Brown and Wilder are the linebackers. Mitchell, Lauder, Hicks, and Early playing for Clarence Nunn. The concern of the San Diego defense early is to be able to stop the potent running attack of the Hawkeyes. I have run the football with that much success. They'll do it all night. And the Hawkeyes picked up a first down on that last play. <laughs> Looked like Levy Aseni upended the ball carrier that time, Richard Bass. Bass, number 23, he has rushed for 351 yards and a 4.4 average this season. Ball spotted down at about the 34-yard line. 11.50 to play, opening period. Sellout crowd in San Diego's Jack Murphy Stadium for this one. Over the left side and banging his way out over the 40-yard line. Rick Bayless. Bayless leads the team in rushing as well as receptions, and he was the team's MVP. Ball spotted at the 41-yard line. It's going to be third down and one. Bayless, somewhat of an interesting story. First team all Big Ten performer was a walk-up when he first came to Iowa. Actually behind Kevin Har Harmon to start the season out. He worked his way into a starting position in the state. And off going to Bayless. Bayless outside at the 50. First down and a lot more. Iowa first down at the 45-yard line. Lyndon Early ran him out of bounds over there. I asked Hayden Fry yesterday just exactly how fast Rick Bayless was. And his response was he's as fast as he has to be. He's fast enough to turn the corner. You see right there Bayless with an excellent move inside, picks up additional yardage, and Bayless is the guy that's just had a marvelous year for the Hawkeyes this year. Already has 33 yards on four carries. Iowa trying to run the football right at the Aztecs with a first down at the 46-yard line. And the pitch again to Bayless. Running room right side at the 40. 35, 30. And he's banged out of bounds inside the 25 by Lyndon Early. Rick Bayless once again with the pitch. Excellent blocking in the interior. And Bayless with enough speed to turn the corner. And Iowa yet to throw the football against the San Diego State defense. In the first four games this year, San Diego State gave up 33 points per game. In the last seven games, they gave up but 15 points per game. But they've got to find a way early tonight to stop the running game with the Hawkeyes. 54 yards already for Bayless on five carries at the 26-yard line. The give is to Bass. Bass banging inside the 25 to about the 23-yard line. Bass, four touchdowns this season, started seven games after Hudson was injured. Randy Kirk, number 35, on the tackle from the linebacker position for the Aztecs. Hayden Fry will be 58 in February, an all-state quarterback in Odessa, Texas. Quarterback the Baylor Bears down in Waco in his early days. Second down and eight from the 24. The delay to Bayless. Bayless grooming up the middle uh, to about the 20-yard line. He does an excellent job of holding on to the football in heavy traffic. Steve Lauder, number 20, on the stop. 
There's Lotter, who is an all whack performer and will be playing in the Senior Bowl. Quite a few of the seniors on the field in this one tonight will be playing in postseason All-Star games. Quinn Early, senior receiver, comes to the left side. Hudson is in the game now, number 20. It's third down and four. And the pass batted down, but there was a flag thrown just as the ball was snapped. Robert Smith, the receiver, over on the right side. The illegal procedure call against the Hawkeyes. Say that was a case where Mark Vlasic was attempting to check off at the line of scrimmage. Saw the free safety in the line of scrimmage. Wanted to throw the football. And they had two men moving. They've been Full penalized. Start offense. Still third down. The Hawkeyes have been penalized better than 61.1 yards per game. Gordon Reese is the referee, and you see the rest of the crew there, these officials from the Pac-10. Third down and nine. Bayless trying to cut it back in, and they got to him that time. They were keen on Bayless. Mike Wilder, number 42, leading the way, along with Lyndon Early, number 21. This gives you a pretty good indication of what Hayden Fry thinks of his running attack. Third and nine, a pitch to Bayless. Wilder with the excellent tackle. Wilder, a former strong safety, playing linebacker. Not very big, about 195 pounds, in the right place at the right time that time. And on fourth and ten, Rob Hopland, the senior from Glenview, Illinois. Leading score with 76 points. Longest field goal, 49. This is going to be a 43-yarder, and it is no good. Hoplin misses the opportunity to put the Hawkeyes on the board first. And the San Diego State fans applaud their fine defense that gave up only eight points in their last two games against Hawaii and BYU. No score. First quarter, San Diego. Back with more in a moment. 54 yards in nine plays for Iowa, but they come up empty and... Here's San Diego State with Todd Santos at quarterback. Had some good ones here. Dennis Shaw is here tonight. Ryan Sight, Greg Penrose, and an interception. Coming back with the football. Keaton Smiley. Smiley, the right corner, number 44. His fifth interception this year. Reggie Blaylock making the tackle and saving the touchdown over there. Sand is trying to hit the crossing route. Play action. He just doesn't get enough air under the football. Keaton Smiley right there to make the interception. The tight end, Doug Awalt, either has to continue to go or to stop. There was a bit of confusion between the tight end and the quarterback in that particular case, and a big, big break for Iowa. 26-yard return. There's Smiley out of Duncanville, Texas, near Dallas. Bayless, second effort. His 11th touchdown of the season after the turnover. The Iowa Hawkeyes take it in, and they're on the board with 8-10 left first period. Excellent line play on the offensive front for the Hawkeyes, and Bayless hit almost at the line of scrimmage. Great determination. He gets himself into the end zone. Bayless is the guy they count on to get it done on the ground. The point after by Hoplin is up and good. And the Iowa Hawkeyes have a 7 to nothing lead in this 1986 Holiday Bowl Classic. They took advantage of the turnover and on one play got on the board here. The interception, and Santos threw the interception, and then they return down here and look at Bayless drive and drive. Bayless is the type of guy that gives you everything he has. He's not extremely gifted, not very fast, but yet he gets the job done. Cook is set to put the ball in play. Corey Gilmore, number 30, and Monty Gilbert, 81, back to receive the kickoff. Monty Gilbert 
at the 20. Steps out over the 25, gets to the 27-yard line. And Marv Cook, number 84, the man that kicked off, along with Craig Clark, number 49, there to make the tackle. 19-yard return. Realizing we're very early into the game, this could be a very important drive right here for San Diego State. You have to feel like going into the game, they questioned a little bit their ability to stay with this Big Ten team. Now they're behind, and Todd Santos has uh, his work cut out for him. Wide out, set out to the left side. The give going to Chris Hardy. Hardy, who is from right here in San Diego, a senior, rushed for 947 yards this past season, hit by Joe Mott, number 97. The gain is up near the 30-yard line. Ball at the 30-yard line. It'll be second down and seven. We have 7.35 to go in the first quarter. And the Hawkeyes lead the Aztecs seven to nothing. Santos some time a little player out of the backfield to Gilmore and Gilmore has a first down at the 42 yard line George Davis the linebacker 37 making the play Gilmore was the top receiver this season for the Aztecs 48 catches and between the running backs 92 catches this year the tight end Rob Awalt ran an out pattern clearing the zone and here comes Gilmore underneath excellent hands he can make him miss once he catches the football something that San Diego State is going to have to do tonight be very patient throw underneath the zone don't force the football Gilmore comes out Troy Reed 37 in the backfield now with Hardy and a whistle and it looked like illegal procedure problem with Kevin Wells the center and coach Stoles really likes Wells who is out of Thornton Colorado number 77 The illegal procedure call against San Diego State. Seven minutes to play in the first quarter. Iowa ball, leading. Ball start offense. Still first down. Santos this season completed 62.3% of his passes. 14 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. 2,253 yards. First and 15 from the 37. Across the 40. Hardy, the number two all time rusher behind Norm Nygaard here. Over 100 yards five times this season. Bruce Gear 94, George Davis 37 on the tackle. Hardy's tough in close. They like to use him in the short yardage situations. Levy Seni right there. Fine performer. Seni, who is from Hawaii. Playing the hula ball to go home for a while. On second down and nine. And penalty marker goes down at the 42, and well, it should. Joe Mott was all over Gilmore. This is a case where the quarterback, and I'm sure we'll have pass interference, the quarterback gets hit right as he throws the football. And Joe Mott has already made the tackle on Gilmore. Clearly pass interference unless they say the pass was not catchable. You can make a decision right there. The pass well overthrown. I'm not sure they'll do it. Pass interference. Defense. Automatic first down. Pass interference call. And a first down for San Diego State at their own 44-yard line with 6.10 to go in this first period. And the Hawkeyes leading 7 to nothing. One thing Denny Stoles was concerned about offensively was being able to protect Todd Sanders. Not to have Iowa people all over him very early in the game so that he can gain his confidence. So far, it's been very touching. Santa's throwing, trying to get to the tight end, Rob Awalt, number 89, and he threw into double coverage. The ball batted over there by Tyrone Taylor, number 39. Taylor in there at the linebacker spot. All conference performer at tight end, Rob Awalt, has great speed. At that particular time, Santos eyed him the entire route and drew double coverage. They're going to have to throw the football somewhere else. Into the lineup now comes Jim Plum, who is the reserve quarterback as well as a wide receiver. He wears number 19. Brent Blanchard, 83. Gilbert, 81 in there. And spread them all out on second down and 10. 
Santos hangs in and it's incomplete. Pass intended for Jim Plum, also over in the zone, was the tight end AWOL. Pass too high. Tyrone Taylor, the linebacker, 39 with the coverage. Taylor out there now playing for George Davis at linebacker. And right now, San Diego State offensively very much out of rhythm. Iowa doing a nice job rushing the quarterback. Santos seems to be very, very unaccustomed to going back and sitting in that pocket. And he's a guy that's a prototype drop back passer. He has to be in the pocket to be successful. And he's facing third down and 10 from the 44. Out of the shotgun. Going long downfield for Jackson. And almost intercepted. The ball batted high. Kyle Crow, 18, and Kenny Sims, number nine, were back covering for the Hawkeyes. Excellent coverage by Kenny Sims, the best corner on the Iowa team. Crow almost came away with that football. Got to throw the deep early, throw the deep route early every now and then to keep that Iowa defense loosened up. But so far, Iowa very, very tough to move the ball on. Ross to do the punting to Peter Marciano. Marciano looking up into the lights, hit as he took it. Oh, what a fine play. Downfield was Chris Jensen, number 47, the senior from Glendale, Arizona, on the specialty unit. And he did an excellent job after the 40-yard punt. Timeout here in San Diego. The Hawkeyes 7, the Aztecs nothing. With Dave Logan, Jay Randolph, the SeaWorld Holiday Bowl, Iowa leading first quarter. Both clubs have run 10 plays each. Iowa total offense, 66 yards. San Diego State, 7 yards. First down from the 17. Jacek goes down, lost the football, and San Diego State comes up with it. Dwayne Pettit, number 94. Milton Wilson, number 33, were in there on the play. Classic trying to go deep here. Robert Smith on an out and up, and he just does not have time. Dwayne Pettit causing the fumble. Big break for the Aztecs. This is exactly what they needed to get the offense going, and it came at a very good time. Pettit, the most improved player for the Aztecs. He caused the fumble. Wilson, 33, picking it up. And the Aztecs now have an opportunity to tie it up. Their fans come alive with the football at the nine-yard line. First and goal. And off to Hardy. Tough yardage for Hardy as he got near the seven-yard line. Jeff Dross, number 76, all Big Ten performer, made the tackle. Hayden Fry talking things over along the sidelines. Once the player coach for the Quantico Marines. He had some good football teams way back. Later he coached at Odessa High and then an assistant at Baylor in Arkansas before he took over at SMU. Brent Blanchard is set wide to the left for Todd Sellis. And it's second and goal to go. Sellis to the outside trying to run, has to throw it away. He got hamstrung just a little bit. By number 57, John Breeze. That was the problem for him. If he could have stepped away from Breeze, he might have been able to go down close. Santos, although he has improved, he is not what you would call an extremely effective scrambler. That time, all of his receivers got knocked off, and Santos tried to make something good happen. It was flushed out, and now it's a very big down. San Diego State took over deep in the Iowa Hawkeyes territory. It's paramount for them to score. Santos is one for seven. Has thrown an interception. Third down, goal to go from the six. And a touchdown! It was Chris Hardy gathering it in, number 34. He caught 36 during the regular season. Santos and Hardy hook up. And the Aztec fans are on their feet. Santos. Catches the blitz, and Chris Hardy is man-to-man -man on Kyle Crow, the free safety. Sanders with the excellent delivery. You can see Crow a couple of steps behind. And that was a big, big play for the San Diego State Aztecs. Kevin Rahill trying to tie it up, and it hits the crossbar and comes out. 
Smiley might have got a hand on it for the Hawkeyes. He was coming in very close to the football. So fireworks early. The Hawkeyes lead the Aztecs 7-6. Hardy. He's got the touchdown for San Diego State in this 86 Sea World Holiday Bowl. Crowd of better than 60,000 watching here tonight. A sellout. Robert Smith and Kevin Harmon set to receive. Kevin Harmon, of course, the brother of Ronnie Harmon, the former Iowa All American, now with Buffalo. Harmon number 28, Robert Smith number two. And it'll be Kevin Rahill to put the ball in play. Rahill's point after hitting the crossbar. And it is taken by Robert Smith. He's at the 25, out to the 30, at the 40. Midfield. And out at the 49-yard line. And it was Ray Hill who knocked him out of bounds, the man who kicked off. Robert Smith, he went 51 yards against Purdue for one return. He's averaged better than 16.9 per kickoff return, and you can see why right here, Dave. Well, the kickoff is short to start with, and Robert Smith in his freshman year, a member of the Big Ten Championship, 4x100 relays. So once he gets outside, you better have a pretty good angle or you can forget it. The scoring drive after the turnover. Three plays. They went eight yards. Hardy catching the six-yarder from Santos. 35-yard return for Harmon. And the Hawkeyes set up shop at the 49-yard line of the Aztecs. And the pass complete. That's Hudson. Hudson is down at the 47-yard line. Hudson caught seven for 30 yards during the season. David Hudson, number 20, from Waxahachie, Texas. David Hudson last year voted on the sophomore All-American team by the Sporting News. Hayden Fry really likes him, says he is the best fullback in America. That 37-yard return officially a moment ago by Harmon ties the record for a kickoff return in the Holiday Bowl. Hudson, not much there. Hudson wrapped up. Leading the way was the middle linebacker, Richard Brown, number 50. He had four sacks this past season. Brown, number 50, from Huntington Beach. Dave Croston, first-team All-American, and a finalist for the Outland Trophy. He's a guy that assuredly will be a first-round draft choice next year. San Diego State very, very quick on defense. They're not big. They get the job done with that quickness, as I mentioned early on. They gave up only eight points in their last two games against Hawaii and BYU. The pass over the middle is a catch by Early and a first down at the 26-yard line. Hicks the free safety, 26 on the tackle, 19-yard pickup. When your quarterback can stand in the pocket and count the house, you've got problems as a defensive club. Quinn Early with a nice in route. And he led the Big Ten this year in yards per catch, 22.8. He also had a 93-yard touchdown from Classic. A guy that can really hurt you with great speed on the outside. From Great Neck, New York. Talented long jumper on the track team as well. Our guys will be 76, first and 10 for them at the 26-yard line. Fishman is dropped over there by Robert Smith. Smith, who wears number two and caught 22 during the regular season. 69 catches in his college career at Iowa, sixth on the all-time list for the Hawkeyes. After being unsuccessful on first down and knowing Hayden Fry a little bit, I would imagine that he'll try to come back and at least pick up half of this with some sort of run, get into a third down situation where he can operate. Classic is two out of three in passing for 21 yards. Second down and 10. Spinning away to the 17 yard line. Harmon with 154 yards rushing and a 4.2 average this season. Mitchell, nine. Mario Mitchell and Brent Farinez, 43 on the tackle here. Excellent blocking up front. Just about anybody could run through that hole. Once you get into the secondary and you're not touched, 
That shows your offensive lineman doing a good job. Kevin Harmon runs a little bit like his older brother. Seven to six, the Hawkeyes leading in the first quarter. The Hawkeyes have been some kind of tough this season. They've scored 111 points, just 27 for their opponent. Now it is third down and one. That's Hudson, and he's got the first down and a lot more. That offensive line doing an excellent job, led by Gamble and Sindlinger and Cratch. Richard Brown, number 50, on the tackle. When you run, excuse me, Jeff. I was going to say this offensive line is very impressive. It really is. When you run left, as an Iowa Hawkeye, you run behind Dave Cross at 6'5", 280. Chris Gamble, 6'7", 285. In the center, the little guy in the offensive line, Mark Sindlinger, 6'3", and 255. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. Going down to the 5 is David Hudson. Randy Kirk, number 35, the linebacker, making the stop. Here's a place you don't want to be unless you're wearing a hard hat in the trenches. And after all those bruisers up front, you've got David Hudson, a 240-pound fullback. So there's a lot of beef in the yellow pants. Rushing yardage here in the first period. The football at the five-yard line. And the whistle. And the penalty is going to go against Iowa. And boy, Coach Hayden Fry is upset. Illegal procedure, the second time they've been called for that here in the first period. Illegal procedure against the Hawkeyes. Rushing yardage for Iowa ball, now. Ball start, offense. 89 Still yards on down. 14 carries. San Diego State just 11 yards on four carries. San Diego State this year defensively giving up but 124 yards rushing. As we mentioned, Iowa close right now to 90. With the exception of 82, no Holiday Bowl team has won a game by more than a seven-point margin. This has truly been, over the last years, America's most exciting bowl game. That's Harmon, and he stalled at about the seven-yard line. Harmon met by Chris Jensen, Jensen number 47. Quite a story for Jensen. He's from Glendale, Arizona. He's 26 years old. And he wears number 47. He was in the Green Berets, and, uh, kind of a late bloomer. Third down. The pass. And it is intercepted, I believe. It was Mario Mitchell, number nine, who went high into the air over there. And if he hadn't gone down, he could have gone right down the sideline for six. The pass was intended for Quinn Early. Lassick seemed to look only at Early, and it was read very well by Mitchell. Well, you can see the route right there. First of all, not a very good one. Mario Mitchell, one of the fine young defensive backs in the country, undercuts the route. The ball was late. It really was a bust from both sides. You can see here Vlasic with the throw, no way to get that football in. Quinn Early either a bit too early in his route or Mark Vlasic very, very late in his delivery. San Diego State, it's Mario Mitchell from Compton, California. San Diego State, though, must start this drive from just outside the one-yard line. That's Chris Hardy spinning out to about the three. Hardy, who rushed for 119 yards on nine carries against the Air Force. Bruce Gear, number 94, the right end, making the tackle for the Hawkeyes. The end of the first quarter of play here at San Diego's Jack Murphy Stadium in the SeaWorld Holiday Bowl, Hawkeyes 7, Aztec 6. Back here in San Diego, these two teams had only one common opponent during the year. On September 29th, Iowa beat Texas El Paso 69 to 7. October 18th at El Paso, the Aztecs were 15 to 10 winners over Utah. Breaking out and making a fine move to get his club out of trouble is Chris Hardy. Hardy had 145 yards against the University of Texas El Paso. 
Smiley 44 and Worth 46 on the tackle. First down. That gives them a little working room. It gives them some room so they can operate the offense. And you can see uh, Iowa certainly doing a good job rushing the football. Passing San Diego State, at least right now, not on track. Total yardage, big difference for Iowa. And I think the key stat is the turnover problem. Two for Iowa, one for San Diego State. Two wide receivers set to the right side for the Aztecs. They pitch it back and coming the other way is Hardy. Hardy gets just a couple. As he reaches the 15-yard line before Bruce Gear, number 94, made the tackle. See, I think a good move by Denny Stoles going to the running game, trying to get this offense stabilized and settled down a little bit. Todd Santos, I thought, a bit nervous when the game started. Let's move the football on the ground. Let's get that Iowa defense to at least think about stopping the run, and then we can throw the football more effectively. Let's call it second down and eight. Opening moments of the second period of play, and the Hawkeyes leading seven to six. In motion, Gilbert to the far side. Santos with a little outlet pass over the middle to Gilmore. Gilmore with some nice freelance running across the 20. Met at the 21-yard line by Mike Burke, number five. Burke in there at an end position. He's a junior from Davenport, Iowa. He had some help from Ken Sims, number nine. He's out of East St. Louis, Illinois. Once again, as you look at the stats, three for nine, Todd Santos. This is the guy that uh, has been so marvelous this year in throwing the football. Trying to give him something that he can have success with. Throw the running backs, throw to the tight ends, stay short, and stay solid. Gilmore's come out of the game, and Troy Reed, 37, is in there now. And they give it off to Hardy. Hardy across the 30 to the 33 yard line, and another first down. And San Diego State, a team that figured to have to go to the air to win here, is looking very, very good along the ground. You can see right here when your free safety has to try to make the tackle and Kerry Burt will do that You've got some problems Chris Hardy an excellent running back all whack last year second team all whack this year San Diego State really showing you something being able to run the football against this tough Iowa defense JJ puck number 32 on the tackle First and ten at the 34 yard line He may have lost a yard this time. Fine play by Jeff Drost. Drost, who is from Waukee, Iowa, missed four games this year. You know, Dave, it's pretty tough to miss four games and still be all Big Ten and be invited to play in the Japan Bowl. I mean, he's quite a performer, no question about it. And at 6'5", 286, he's very, very difficult to try to block. You've got to either go around him or go the other side because there's not much action on his side. Loss of a yard. Gilmore is back in for Reed. Gilmore number 30. It's second and 11 from the 33. Santos under pressure rolls out of there on the run and out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Ken Sims, number nine, forcing him out over there. Santos, the all-time leader at San Diego State University in yardage and completions. And he's got a chance next year to pass Kevin Sweeney in total yardage by throwing the football. That showed me something right there. Good escapability, made some positive yards. Denny Stoles attended Alma College, quarterback for the Scots in Michigan. High school coach for nine years. Hazlitt, Michigan, where he had a great record. It's third and five for his Aztecs. Jim Plum, the quarterback in there, is a wide receiver now. They throw right over the middle. And it looks like they got the first down to the tight end, Rob Awald. Awald, number 89. It's very close. He was hit by... Number 94, Bruce Gear. When you've got a tight end like Awald, and in that situation, you just bird dog it. You go down and get open. When you get open, I'll throw you the football. Rob Awald, a great athlete, 45 catches, as I mentioned, very good speed. And pro scouts love it. First down and 10 at the 44-yard line. Santos and going over the middle, and it's too high. Intended for Awald again, the tight end. He had him pass just a little too high. And Todd Santos jumps up and up and down after this throw. Get a chance to look at him. Releases outside, gets into the seam, and then looks for the football. Just barely overthrown. He almost makes a great catch as it was. 
He's going to be a first or second round draft choice next year. A guy that uh, I'm sure will have a great pro career. And he's getting a little rest. Plum is in there. 19 is a wide receiver set at the top of the screen. Second down and 10. Santos four out of 11 for 29 yards. He has a touchdown pass and an interception. Three wide receivers left and they get it to number 83 Brent Blanchard. And Blanchard is down at the 49 yard line. Stop made by J.J. Puck, number 32. Blanchard on the outside, two receivers inside, clearing. Just goes down and gets eight yards. And now you're starting to see the Aztec offense at its best. Get six yards here, seven yards here, go for a big play, come back and run the football. They go every which way. And as a defense, you've got to try to stop one side or the other, one particular aspect of the offense. Gilbert goes wide to the right. Third down and three at the 48-yard line. Set out to the right side. Over the middle, too high. Intended for Kerry Reed Martin. He's from Danville, California, a senior, and a good backup for Awalt. And it's going to be punting time as Bruce Gear 94, Kyle Crow 18 had the coverage on the play over the middle. 10:41 left to play in the first half. The Hawkeyes lead the Aztecs seven to six. Wayne Ross to do the punting. Peter Marciano back to receive. Marciano can really fly from Brockton, Mass. He's only 5'9", 165 is Marciano. And he's calling for a fair catch, and he lets it go, and he probably shouldn't. Ball is down to the two-yard line. And you see there's some happiness right there for Wayne Ross, the junior punter, 47-yard punts. And when we come back, Iowa will start from their own two-yard line. They lead 7-6. to six. Iowa 7, San Diego State 6 with Dave Logan, Jay Randolph. Randolph going to Bayless, and Bayless bangs out to the five-yard line. Wayne Pettit, number 94, making the stop. This telecast presented by the Holiday Bowl Television Network and any transmission reproduction or duplication without the express written consent of the Holiday Bowl TV Network is prohibited. 10.06 to play in the first half. Second down and seven coming for the Hawkeyes from the five-yard line. Bayless now with 65 yards on nine carries. Classic, and he's got a man. It is Morrow. Morrow up at the 17-yard line. First down, Mario Mitchell, number nine, and Steve Lauder, number 20, making the tackle. Big difference early in this game. Look at the time Classic has. He looks to the right, he turns to the left. And then he's got a man wide open, Jim Morrow, with very good hands, the possession receiver. As opposed to how much time Todd Sanders has, that right now a big difference in this ballgame. Classic is three for five passing, one interception, 32 yards. A little delay, and Bayless trying to get outside. It's tough going, but he gets about three. Bayless hit by Linden early, number 21. Also Mike Wilder, number 42. There's Denny Stoles in six years. He had a record of 34 and 16 at Little Alma College. 71, he went to work for Duffy Doherty at Michigan State as defensive coordinator and later was the head coach there. Second down and six from the 20-yard line. In the slot. Smith, number two, the handoff to David Hudson. Hudson getting a couple as he got near the 22-yard line. Richard Brown, the middle linebacker, number 50 on the play. This 1986 Western Athletic Conference, the first title for San Diego State. First title since they won the school crown out here in the Pacific Coast Athletic Conference Association. You see those Iowa coaches, the assistants, working very hard with their people, trying to get their attention, David. Big down right here. Let's see if San Diego's taking pressure. Mark Classic. Don't have to. Third and three, and it is Bayless, and I don't think he got 
there. He is near the 25, but looks to be about a yard short. Pettit, who's had a fine game, number 94, made the tackle, and it's punting time for Iowa. Certainly very easy to second guess, but I'll tell you, you've got to be annihilating people up front to run that type of play when it's third and three or four. You've got to be knocking guys down. In that case, San Diego State with an excellent defensive effort. Ostrobala, you see he averaged 40.6. His longest punt this year, a 70-yarder against Michigan State. A senior from Oaklawn, Illinois. And the kick coming down over there to Williams. The penalty marker is down. Williams returns to the 48-yard line where Marv Cook, number 84, made the play. Cook does an excellent job on special teams. Number five, Mike Burke, also in there on the tackle. Illegal procedure, and I would assume they'd refuse that, David. It was only a 30-yard punt. Yeah, Denny Stoles wants the football right Six where it is. Line, penalty is declined. First down. Seven twenty-three to play in the first half, and we've got a timeout. Here in the Holiday Bowl, it's the Hawkeyes seven, the Aztecs six. Iowa is just the second Big Ten team that San Diego State has ever faced. Wisconsin went down twenty-four to seventeen here in seventy-nine, and then. San Diego State lost at Madison the following year, 35 to 12. First and 10, the ball at midfield. Second quarter of play, the Aztecs. Trying to move for the lead. Santos gets it out to the right side. And across the 45-yard line is Gilmore. He's hit by Joe Mott, number 97. They're trying to set up a little screen on the outside there, and they did it rather effectively. Well-designed play by Santos. When you're in that tight field position in midfield, you can really open up the offense. Santos looks downfield, dumps the ball to Gilmore. Mott in pursuit. Pick up six, seven yards, and uh, that's certainly good. Excuse me, Chris Hardy. It'll be second down and four. Kenny Moore at the bottom of the screen. He is set to the left side. Santos getting time. Going long. Got a man down there. It is Jackson for the touchdown. Alfred Jackson puts the Aztecs in front. Jackson last year moves from defensive back play action away Kenny Sims absolutely goes to sleep people say that he reminds one of JJ John Jefferson who had some great games in the stadium you can see Todd Sanders right there asking coach Stoles will they go for two the answer is yes earlier on Kevin Rahill missed the extra point when it hit the crossbar, so they're going to try to make it up and go for two. Here they are. Santos pitching it out to Hardy. Hardy gets it. You see the ability of this San Diego State football team with their quickness and speed as they go on top here with 6.38 to go in the first half. 14 to 7. Coaches love to say there's no substitution for speed. Counter option, Hardy with the pitch. Once again, Kyle Crow has an angle on him, but Hardy simply runs away. Cannot teach speed. It's a nice commodity to have, though, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. I wish I had some. You can recruit it. Denny Stoles has done an excellent job with what he had here. One of the items that we talked about yesterday at the Kiwanis luncheon here that had a crowd of more than 2,000. It was my pleasure to MC. We talked with Aiden Fry and with Denny Stoles about the game, of course. But the thing that's amazed me is what Stoles has done with the moving of personnel here. It's just amazing. He's moved people all over the place. And he's done it successfully. The guys have really played well after they've been changed. Kevin Rahill kicking off to Robert Smith. Kevin Harmon. 
stays in bounds, and all Smith can do is go down and get it at the 10-yard line and hold on. Looked like it was going to take a bounce out of bounds, and it didn't. Women's are going very nicely for the Aztecs, thank you. That's exactly right. When things go well, they really go well. Robert Smith's going to let it go out of bounds. It kicks back in. This thing is going out of bounds. Smith says, I'll let it go, and then watch it kick back. Whoops. Now Smith says, I better get on it. Well, he did the smart thing, no question about it, because the Aztecs were bearing down on him. Six and a half minutes to play in the first half. And the Aztecs leading the Hawkeyes 14 to 7. Iowa from the 10 yard line. Bayless goes nowhere. And it's a fired up Aztec punch out there right now. Loss of about two on the play. After a big play like the touchdown pass, your defensive unit obviously is going to get a lift. Bayless runs in, there is nothing there, and you can see the black shirts everywhere. Hayden Fry right now in a very tough situation. He's got to try to stem the tide a bit and get something opened up. Gonna have to throw the football. Richard Brown and Levy Aseni were leading the way. There's Aseni, number 97, 260 pound senior. Leads the way with 10 and a half sacks. Classic. Going downfield, got a man, and he threw it poorly. Well, he had Robert Smith, the senior from Dallas, wide open down the sidelines and threw it way behind him and outside. He must have thought he was going to go that way, but if he had, he'd have run out of running room. Well, Hayden wanted to know where he was throwing the football. Mark Glass, extremely accurate when he throws the football. Threw for over 1,000 yards this year and missed several games. Had a remarkable second half in the comeback against Minnesota. Classic three out of six for 32 yards. Third and 12 for the Hawkeyes. They operate from their own eight-yard line with five minutes and 49 seconds to go in the first half. Lots of time and incomplete. Intended for Jim Morrow out at the 35-yard line. Lassick had all kinds of time waited. A catchable ball for Morrow, although it was a little high, but he couldn't handle it. Mario Mitchell back there on the coverage. Here you see Jim Morrow, excellent possession receiver. He's going to be open here, and Vlasic will put the ball right where he has to have it. A little bit high. Would have been an excellent catch by Morrow, and that was a play that the Hawkeyes needed. Gary Costrabala, his only punt, a 30-yarder. He needs more than that this time, standing in his own end zone. Kick coming out, and it gets by Gilbreth. Picking it up, and he gets to about the 44-yard line, and penalty markers are thrown in there. Gilbreth on the return. The officials discussing it. Three or four flags all thrown into the pile. Clipping against San Diego State. Jim Riley, number 95, a sophomore from Dubuque, was downfield to make the tackle. You know, this turns into a very effective change of possessions for Iowa. Looked like a real good punt now, doesn't it? Sure does. <laughs> San Diego State all the way back at the Clipping 28. By the receiving team during the run back. First down. It was a 40 seven yard punt and then you tack on the penalty timeout with 529 left to play we're in the first half the sea world holiday bowl the aztecs lead the hawkeye good block here by a walt let's see if we do dave you'll also see a good block by number two kenny moore watch him set up the block dips inside now he comes back outside all you have to do is get a piece of the cornerback Right now, San Diego State doing an excellent job of controlling the line of scrimmage, and that was something coming into this contest that Denny Stoll didn't know if he could do. Most observers didn't think they could run the ball with this kind of efficiency either. 49 yards now for Hardy. And a little player coming out to Gilmore. And Gilmore is across the 45 to the 47 before Bruce here, number 94, brings him down. Gilmore, as we mentioned early on, 48 catches, tops on the club. 
And when you can run the ball like San Diego State right now is doing, you really can get into the bag of tricks. They're starting to screen to each side. They're throwing crossing routes. And right now, you see the Iowa defense a little bit hesitant. They can't figure out exactly what to do. Second down and four from the 47. Four minutes and 40 seconds to go in the first half. Aztecs leading at 14 to seven. And the penalty marker going down. They may have a procedure call against the Aztecs. And that'll even that situation up at two apiece so far tonight, if that is the case. Two turnovers for Iowa, one for San Diego State. Dead ball, false start, offense, still second down. It's Hardy 34 and Gilmore 30 in the backfield for San Diego State. Santos, 8 for 16, 94 yards. Two touchdowns, one interception. Makes it second down and nine from the 42. Santos over the middle. Oh, and it is intercepted. The interception at the 48-yard line. Dwight Sistrunk, number 22, the junior from Dayton. Sistrunk, a former Oakland defensive end, of course, Otis Sistrunk. And Dwight Sistrunk is his nephew. What a big play he makes. Makes, makes a nice catch, but that's very uncharacteristic of a veteran quarterback. Santos, back to throw. The ball is tipped right there. You can see Dave Haight with a hand up. And that may have been the reason. Let's say that it is. Santos really doesn't make mental mistakes, or certainly not many. Two turnovers for each side now. And four minutes and 23 seconds to go in the first half. The Hawkeyes. See what they can do after this turnover. See if they can even things up. The pass is dropped by Robert Smith. Hit him right in the hands. Smith had caught 22 for 321 yards coming into this one. Here is San Diego's Jack Murphy Stadium. Beautiful facility. Seats better than 60,000. It'll be the site of Super Bowl 22, January 31st of 1988. Some of the seniors out there would like to be playing here for somebody, I'm sure, on that one. Second and ten. Classic. They have audible. Let me change the play at the line of scrimmage. Classic. And it is too far. Intended for Robert Smith. Mario Mitchell again with the coverage over there. Hayden Fry. A marvelous rebuilding job at Iowa. A little shoving there going on. Robert Smith didn't particularly like the way Mario had him at the line of scrimmage. Almost broke his back. Thought he was held. That was a play of the audible thinking it would be zone coverage. It was Robert Smith unable to escape the line of scrimmage. Now a third and ten. And the Hawkeyes need something to happen here if they're going to take advantage of the turnover. It's got lots of time again. He gets it out there. That's Hudson short of the first down. Good play by Randy Kirk, the linebacker, 35, the senior from San Jose, coming up. He has two interceptions this season. There's Randy Kirk, top tackler on the club. And the Iowa fans are saying go, 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 and the ball is right at the 40. About a yard and a half short of the first down. Clock running with 3.40 to go, and they're going to go. And that is Bayless. He's got it. Bayless bangs through to the 35, first down Iowa. As we mentioned, when they need yardage, they run left behind Dave Croston, the All-American tackle. Chris Gamble, you can see right here, Croston and Gamble double teamed down. They just expect Bayless to find the opening, and he does. Richard Brown, number 50 on the tackle, the middle linebacker, and he is down. Brown, a senior, 6'2", 235 from Huntington Beach, third in tackles on the club. Had four sacks and two interceptions, and he's being attended to right now. After the first period, 7-6, to six, the Hawkeyes led it. 
the Aztecs scoring the only touchdown of the second period and going for the two-point conversion and doing a good job getting that successfully lead it 14 to 7. Levy Aseni shaken up on the play also coming off. Aseni is a marvelous performer boy he had a just a remarkable game in the victory over BYU. Seem to have his good games in big games. It's always the uh, indication of a guy that you really want to play. A ball at the 35 yard line. Three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Early at the top of the screen, set to the left side. Smith to the right side. First and ten. Taylor's a pass in the back to Gossett. Gossett throws, and the catch is made by Mike Flagg. Flagg going down and is out of the one. Mike Flagg, who caught 15 on the year, an academic All-Big Ten performer from Cedar Falls, Iowa, number 86, made a good catch, and then he really made things happen. Another crossing route, and they get Mike Flagg underneath the coverage. Vlasic drops back. Flagg is the guy, knocks it up in the air, and here he catches it and turns up field, and now he's like a runaway beer truck. Mario Mitchell will try to knock him out of bounds at the one. Flagg doesn't want any part of this. Almost knocks Mitchell into the end zone, and he himself almost gets in. First and goal to go, and uh, the quarterback sneak, and no indication. Vlasic on the keeper, short of the goal line. Lock running with two minutes and 40 seconds left to play in this first half. You know, they said Mike Flagg couldn't run. They timed him. Every time they timed him in the 40, he couldn't get below five flat. He looked pretty quick running down that sideline. And he would like very much, told me to be drafted, he'd like very much to try his hand in the NFL. Here we are on second and goal. They're right there. Touchdown. Classic. We had to wait. The officials finally gave us the arms up. And the Hawkeyes have their second touchdown here in the first half. Better than 12,000 Hawkeye fans journeyed here from Iowa. And this is what they saw just seconds ago as that offensive line gets the job done up there. Mark Sindlinger, the center, number 56, his third season as a starter in that position. The point after is up. Rob Hopland kicks it through, or it's wide. It's wide. And one official said yes, and another said it's wide, so it goes awry, and the Aztecs still have the lead. And you see Hopland, the senior from Glenview, Illinois, he was a walk-on, spent some time at the University of Miami, 181 career points, second all-time at Iowa. And he's really had a very good year, 37 out of 39 extra points and 13 out of 20 field goals. So the Aztecs... Hold on to a one-point advantage. 49. I think it should be 49 yards, shouldn't it, on seven plays? I don't think they ran 49 plays, folks. That'd be a lot of plays. <laughs> that would be a lot. <laughs> that would really be controlling the football. They'd need some oxygen after that one. I tell you. Well, the Aztecs still have an opportunity to go to the air and see if they can put some points on the board. Two minutes and 22 seconds left to go in this first half. Cook will kick off, and it is Corey Gilmore, Monty Gilbreth, set to receive. Short kick. And coming up is Gilmore. And Gilmore is to the 31-yard line. That's where the Aztecs will start it with two minutes and 15 seconds remaining to go in this first half. Sean Ridley, number 91, who is from Omaha, Nebraska, a sophomore, made the play. Santa's coming in. Santa's next year should become the fourth quarterback to pass 10,000. 
Santos worked out with a talented quarterback Kevin Sweeney during the summer months. <laughs> Pretty good company. And you betcha. They put the ball on the ground, and Hardy just gets over the 30-yard line before Jeff Dross dropped him. Dross, number 76. Two minutes to play in this first half. It's been an interesting first half. San Diego State at times running the football extremely effectively, much more than I think a lot of people felt they would be able to. Santos has struggled a bit. He's been very inconsistent. Pressure has played a big part. Santos on a little delay to Gilmore. And Gilmore is out to the 39-yard line. George Davis, number 37, the linebacker making the tackle. It's a draw play. Santos going back and Gilmore following excellent blocking up front. You see George Davis being blocked. And now San Diego State, I'm sure, feels like that they just as soon go into the halftime locker room ahead one point. They are up 14 to 13. Clock running down toward a minute. Third down and two. the first down and more as he gets to the 49 yard line Davis again 37 is there to make the tackle both teams have all three timeouts remaining and now possibly Denny Stoll's changing his mind they're to midfield might have a chance to uh, put more points on the board and they're going to take a timeout the Aztecs and talk things over with 58 seconds remaining to be played in this first half this has been some week here for those of us who have had the pleasure of being out here getting set for this game and covering these two fine teams. The weather has been magnificent. The activities have been enjoyable and we'll be showing you some of that uh, at halftime as well as the halftime show and both the San Diego State University and the Iowa Hawkeye bands will be performing. A lot of pageantry here at halftime and we'll be taking some time to let you enjoy that. Gilmore has 28 yards on three rushes and four receptions for 30 yards. San Diego's Jack Murphy Stadium, named for the late sports editor of the San Diego Union, the name officially given here in December of 1980, Jack Murphy, marvelous gentleman. The stadium was dedicated in August of 67. It was enlarged in recent years. 60,400 the capacity for football. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. Todd Santos. And he's got a man. There he is. That's Gilbert. Gilbert has a first down at the 28. Keaton Smiley, the right cornerback, 44, making the tackle. 23 yard pickup on the play. Monty Gilbert went straight down the field. They're in a zone defense. They blitzed the inside linebacker George Davis. He was picked up, giving Santos time to throw the football. San Diego State very capable of hurting you if he has enough time to throw. And Jeff Drost is limping off. Drost, the all Big Ten performer. You can see Santos looking left all the way. Excellent protection. Gilbert wide open. Straight down the field in the seam. Monty Gilbert out of L.A., the freshman. Exceptional punt returner and kickoff man. Myron Kepi, number 77, in the game for Drost. Santos over the middle, and it is caught. And it is a touchdown for Monty Gilbert. made a move or two, deked out Keaton Smiley and danced into the end zone. Denny Stoles told me two days ago that Monty Gilbert had great ability after the catch to make people miss and he had great speed. He of all the wide receivers on the roster, maybe the most gifted, you saw some of that acrobatic maneuver right there. And you try for the point after Kevin Rahill out of the hold of Jim Plum. And with 39 seconds remaining, 
in this, the first half. The Aztecs lead it 21 to 13. The ability of a team that can throw the football, they can strike in a very short period of time. Sanders to Gilbert, an exceptional catch. Nothing but green ahead of him. And they came down the field in less than two minutes. Did a very, very nice job. They also forced Iowa, although I'm sure it won't happen this half, to try and, and come out of the shell a bit, maybe throw the football a bit more, and that's San Diego State's game. Aiden Fry taking off those dark glasses and studying his chart. He studied the scoreboard, and right now his club is down 21 to 13. And he can't be happy with how quickly San Diego State scored. They went 68 yards in five plays. It only took a minute and 43 seconds for Denny Stoll's Aztecs. Back to receive. Robert Smith, number two, and Kevin, Kevin Hartman, number 28. This crowd whooping it up here as the Aztecs retake the lead, and they're waving those towels. Jim McMahon has the record for most touchdowns in this game with four. This is handled by Smith. Smith trying to get outside over there, and he does. He's got one man to beat. And the tackle is made by Curtis Gillis, the linebacker from Los Angeles, a junior number six. Gilbert, a 28-yard pass from Santos for the score. 31 seconds remaining in the first half. The Aztecs and the Hawkeyes. Most interesting. First half of play. Classic number 12. here at the line of scrimmage. He throws and is dropped by Mike Flagg, the tight end. 27 seconds left to play in the first half. And the rushing yardage has evened up a bit. Iowa with 97. San Diego State with 74. San Diego State now with 134 yards passing, and Iowa with 75. You really get the feeling that Iowa has to be somewhat uh, confused and certainly surprised that San Diego State has been able to move offensively the way they have. Lots of lots of time. And he bails it out to Hudson. Hudson's across the 35, down at the 37-yard line. That's Nixon, number 41, who made the tackle, and the clock shows 17 seconds left as Iowa calls a timeout. Dave, I think you mentioned it here in the second period. The San Diego State bunch is extremely quick, and they have been a team that has won their last four games of this season to win the WAC title and to come into this game. And certainly the last time that a San Diego State team finished the regular season with four straight wins was way back in the glory days of Don Coriel in 1977. That is worth going off. Dan Worth, who started this game because the freshman Brad Quast could not go because of the nerve injury. Iowa right now, I would guess, would be content to, to get into the locker room. They cannot get caught up in a track meet type of football game. They don't have the personnel to do that. It's not the personality of their team. You don't think they might try a long pass and see if they can come up with an interference call? Yeah, I think they'll throw the ball. But I, they'd be much to get in. That's flag. Flag to the 40-yard line. Ten seconds left. And one more play with some success, and they might have a chance to kick the field goal. That's exactly what they'll try to do. Rob Houtland, of course, has had his problems here in the first half, but Houtland does have a 49-yarder. He kicked the 37-yarder that won the Minnesota game after Minnesota was penalized for having 12 men on the field. And he is 13 out of 20 coming into tonight's game here. Peyton Fry was very concerned before the game about San Diego State's great speed. He thought overall team speed, they may be the fastest team that Iowa would face all year, and I think it's been clear 
that here in the first half, San Diego State extremely quick. San Diego State, their fifth bowl appearance ever. They're three and one. Relatively minor bowls, of course. They lost the Harbor Bowl here at Balboa Stadium. Won the Camellia Bowls in 66 and 67 and the Pasadena Bowl in 69. This is really their first major bowl appearance. First and 10 at the 41. Classic again with lots of time. Steps up, throws long, and it is incomplete. He was trying to get it down there to early. There are two seconds remaining on the clock. Mario Mitchell back there. Mitchell has had an excellent first half. Mario Mitchell out of Panama. Very good coverage. Tried to get it all. I think Hayden would have liked him to throw the football over the middle of the field, but he tried to get the big play. Going to set up for a field goal try. Hayden has sent out Rob Hotlin. Last game played on grass was the Rose Bowl, which the Hawkeyes lost, of course. Hartley will hold, and it is a 57-yarder, and it comes up short. No good. And time expires. The end of the first half at the SeaWorld Holiday Bowl here at San Diego's Jack Murphy Stadium. This crowd of better than 60,000 has watched the Aztecs take the lead 21-13. This was uh, one of the first turnovers of the game and led to the Iowa score. That was Smiley who came up with that, and then it is Bayless who takes it over. And it appeared right there that Iowa might really take control of the football game. Here you see the quarterback for Iowa, Vlasic losing the football, the turnover down in close. And they came right back and took advantage of the opportunity. Got one-on-one -on -one coverage right here. The touchdown pass to Hardy. Turnovers played such a big part in the first half. Vlasic again. He's been protected well, Dave. Billy really has. This may be his worst throw of the night. Had a touchdown pass, and uh, Mario Mitchell steps in front, taking away the opportunity for Iowa to score. That's certainly a very good way to lose football games. Santos going long. Blown coverage right here. Excellent read. Jackson with the touchdown. Alfred Jackson out of Tulare, California. And then they went for the two-point conversion with Hardy. And this was a play they put in specifically this week for this uh, particular situation. As you see, great speed by Hardy, and the two-point conversion is successful. Vlasic and the tight end. The big guy flag making that play and almost going all the way in. He was stopped down at the one yard line. And Vlasic on the quarterback sneak taking it in. And it appeared right there that uh, San Diego State would go in up 14 to 13, but they came back quickly. Yes, as Houtland had missed the extra point. And here is a fine catch. That's Monty Gilbert. Gilbert showed his speed and agility and a little dancing also. And here are the first half stats, Dave. Interesting thing about here, San Diego State stopped somewhat in the early going with their offense. They accumulate 216 total yards in the first half. Iowa defensively led the Big Ten in total defense. San Diego State ready to start the second half. It'll be Kevin Rahill to kick it off. It's a low kick. One of the up men pick it up. That is Grant Goodman. And Goodman goes down along the 29-yard line. Leading the way there was Chris Jensen, the old-timer on the club, number 47 at 26 years old, as well as Harold Barlow, number 86. So here comes Vlasic, and Iowa down 21 to 13. We'll try to get something going as we start this second half. Classic seven for 15, 102 yards. 
I would certainly think that if Vlasic cannot get something going, Hayden Fry might go to Pulhoski, second team quarterback, who has had a very good year as well. And off to Bayless, and they're looking for him. He gets maybe a yard or two. Dwayne Pettit, who's had an outstanding game. Pettit's a real story. He's from Tehachapi, California. And uh, he's quicker this year because of some dance classes he's been taking. He's sidelined with some personal problems and injury problems the last couple of years. Finally getting a chance to play, and he's the most improved player for the Aztecs this year. Number 94, Dwayne Pettit. After that first drive, San Diego State defensively. They've done a very nice job. On second down and eight. Penalty marker goes down. Lassick getting it out to Bayless. Bayless has a first down if the play stands as he got it to the 43-yard line. Richard Brown, the middle linebacker, number 50, stalled him at that point. And the illegal procedure call goes against Iowa, and they'll bring this one back. Bayless, the team's MVP, caught 30 passes for 209 yards for Hayden Fry during the season. Illegal procedure, offense, six men on the line. Still second down. Interesting statistic in the first half. San Diego State had the football only five minutes and 10 seconds. Iowa had it 9.50. And in their eight wins this year, San Diego State held the football longer than their opponent seven times. Turnovers, the big cause of points. Second down and 13. Ball at the 28-yard line. And it was Brown coming in to make the play. Brown, a senior. Four sacks during the regular season. He's from Huntington Beach. And he'll come from the right side. Vlasic looks like he sees him, but Richard Brown untouched. Richard Brown, 6'2", 235. Third down and 22. Excuse me. It's very evident uh, in the first half and early going here in the third quarter at San Diego State, a much quicker football team than Iowa. That was the second sack for the Aztecs. And the blitz is on again, and the man came from the outside, the right outside linebacker, Mike Wilder. Now, also it was Brett Ferenez, I believe. Let's take a look and see who got there first. They're putting the pressure on. They bring the house. Farinez it is from the back yep. side. Farinez, three and a half sacks on the season. A linebacker his first two seasons from Rancho Cordova, California. And now punting time. Gary Costrabala standing in his own end zone for the second time in his game to get a punt away. Gilbreth at the 48, over the 50. And down to the 45-yard line. And the Aztecs are going to be in very good shape, leading 21 to 13, as they will get the football for the first time in the second half. And we'll be back and check out what they're able to do with it right after these messages. First. 12-15 to play in the third quarter here. At the uh, defense of San Diego State, very fired up, Dave. On the handoff going to Hardy. Hardy trying to get outside, and he gets about two. It was Joe Mott, number 97, to make the play on the far sideline. That was a 42-yard punt a moment ago with a seven-yard return. Denny Stoles coached at Bowling Green. Went there in 77, nine years, was 56, 45, and one. Going for his 118th career coaching victory in 19 years tonight. Hayden Fry going for 150 in his 24th year as a head coach. Second down eight at the 43-yard line. Santos gets it away, and it is a catch and a first down at the 32-yard line. They beat Ken Sims, the cornerback over there. Brett Blanchard, number 83, making the catch. And Dave, I have to ask you as we watch this play again, are the Hawkeye cornerbacks playing too soft? 
You can see the tiptoe done by Blanchard, who has excellent hands. That time, Iowa brought both inside linebackers. When you do that as a cornerback, you've got to make sure you don't get beat inside. Kenny Sims was too far inside, thus the first down completion. Reed and Hardy in the backfield. And that is Hardy blasting down to about the 27-yard line. Clock running with 11 minutes and 20 seconds left to play in the third quarter. That fella Hardy is very special as Hayden Fry walks the sidelines in rather worried fashion. Chris Hardy, number 34 for San Diego State University, bench press nearly twice his weight. He weighs just about 185, 190. Hardy and not much gain there for him. John Breeze 57, Jeff Gross 76 making the tackle. You remember Gross limped off at one point late in the first half, but apparently he's all right. Important down, third down here early in the third quarter. Important for this Iowa defense to hold. They have been tested quite severely in the first half and early in the third quarter. Third down and six. over the middle, wide open is Awalt. Awalt inside the five. Rob Awalt, a senior from Sacramento, California. Tackle made by Kelly Crow, 18, and Tyrone Taylor, 35. First and goal to go, Aztecs. Well, Rob Awalt, they're trying to cover him with the linebacker, Tyrone Taylor, impossible to do. Awalt comes down, makes a move on Taylor. Taylor's still standing there, and Awalt's inside the five-yard line. In a situation like that, third and six, you have to guess that San Diego State will try to throw the football to their best receiver. Rob Awald fits the bill, and in that particular case, has one-on-one -on -one coverage with an inside linebacker. One of the Aztecs shaken up. Can't quite tell who it is. It is Awald. Awald has had some ankle and sternum injuries over the last half of the season with healthy coming into this one. You can see right there, look to the right. Tyrone Taylor's three or four yards off. And it's really unfair to ask an inside linebacker to try and cover a guy as proficient at running his routes as Rob Awal. Awal was voted third team All-American, as you can see right there. He gets knocked around by uh, Mott. And Kerry Burt really put the hit on him, too. Awal coming out. First team All-Western Athletic Conference. They likes to be called Rob rather than Robert. Well, he's big enough that he would call him Rob. Santos, 12 to 21. First and goal to go at the five-yard line. And off going to Hardy, and he is brought down for a loss. Keaton Smiley leading the way. Loss of two. They strung it out pretty well here. Lined up in the power eye left. Just tried to knock people back. And Smiley eluding the block right there. Hardy tries to make a move. He's forced to, to deepen his angle. An excellent job by the Iowa defense. Folks here in the San Diego area have really been turned on by these Aztecs. Hayden Fry looking out at the scene, hoping his team can stop them or possibly cause a turnover. On second down, goal to go at the seven. Santos on the run, on the run, on the run, on the run, and got about a yard. Tyrone Taylor, number 39, closed on him very quickly. They tried to get the football on second down to Rob Awalt again, who's crossing underneath the coverage. Santos couldn't find him, and a nice job by Tyrone Taylor in closing the gap, forcing a big third down. Talked about the San Diego folks being so turned on by these Aztecs. They're also turned on by what's happening over in Australia. The coverage here on the America's Cup, and especially Dennis Connor's Stars and Stripes. And so they love it here. So do. Third and goal. Santos got a man, and did he get in there? Gilmore? No, he stopped at the one. Corey Gilmore. He tried to hurdle across the line, didn't get there. Bruce Gear, 94, along with Kerry Burt, number three, stopped him just short of the goal line. Taking advantage once again of the speed, Gilmore 
and gear in hot pursuit. Look at the great effort. No serve. The ball should be right inside the one yard line. They will go for it. But that's what San Diego State has been able to do the entire evening. Isolate those backs on the Iowa defensive end and linebackers. Santos is asking for quiet down at the closed end. The ball at the one yard line. Reed and Gilmore in the backfield. The handoff goes to Gilmore. Touchdown, San Diego State. Well, no way to stop Gilmore right here. Look at the height he gets at the jump. He's hit at the goal line. He's going to fall in. He actually injures himself slightly on this great run. Try for the extra point. Ray Hill with plum holding. The kick is up, and it is good. We have seven minutes and 52 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Aztecs 28, Hawkeyes 13. Off to Smith and Harmon. Low driving kick. That's Kevin Harmon at the 25, the 30. 35 outside at the 40. He's at midfield and out of bounds in Aztec territory at the 47 yard line. And it was Kevin Rayhill, the man who kicked off, that made the play. Kevin Harmon, we said uh, earlier, runs a little bit like his older brother Ronnie, who was a first round draft choice of the Buffalo Bills. Watch him pick and choose. Looks inside, dips outside, legs going every which way. And that's an excellent start to what I'm sure will be a very important drive for Iowa. They need to get a score. 33-yard return. Hawkeyes down by 15. Bayless breaks a tackle, gets to the 40, the 35, and a first down. Bayless. Doing an excellent job. Mike Wilder, number 42, making the tackle. The Aztecs going 45 yards in nine plays, and Gilmore hurtling in from the one. 28 to 13. Aztecs lead the Hawkeyes. First and 10 for Iowa at the 32 yard line. Bayless now with 89 yards on 15 carries. Classic out of Monica, Pennsylvania. the 24 yard line Jim Morrow just had a foot in bounds Morrow had three TDs against Iowa State and it was a walk on originally classic changed the play at the line of scrimmage and then throws almost right into Mike Wilder's hands an excellent throw and catch and as we said a very important drive for Hawkins Wilder again is set to the left side good early to the right line. Clock running with seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. Hawkeyes led seven to six after one. It was 21 to 13 at halftime. Aztecs. The Aztecs have the only score of the third period and lead it 28 to 13. This year San Diego State scored 21 points for more in the first half only once. So measurement here. And you can see they're about a half a yard short. Demetrius Bell, 96. Along with Chris Jensen, 47, coming in for the Aztecs to beef it up in the middle. Ball just outside the 22-yard line. Iowa with 99 yards rushing on the night. San Diego State with 81. Third down, less than a yard. And off the right side and going for the first down. Bass. Oh, it was Hudson, excuse me, and not Bass. Hudson. 
Six touchdowns on the year. He picks up the first down. Tackle made by Mario Mitchell, number nine. And one of the Aztecs is shaken up. An injury at the 23-yard line. The Aztecs have faced teams coached by Hayden Fry in the past. Fry bought his North Texas State team to San Diego in 73 and lost here 56-9. The following year in Denton, Texas, the Mean Green Eagles turned the tables. They won it 14 to 9, and then the Aztecs bounced back in San Diego in 75, 30 to 12. A timeout with 637 remaining in the third quarter. Aztecs 28, Hawkeyes 13. There's our score in the third quarter. Levy Aseni has come out of the game, came off on his own power. Rob Graff, number 40, Claremont, California, freshman is in to replace him. Here is Bayless. Bayless down to the 13-yard line. Bayless was within a step of maybe breaking it all away before Harold Hicks, number 26, made the stop. He may not have great speed, but he's got extremely quick feet. Watch him stay right behind his offensive lineman, gets into the secondary, and Rick Bayless shows you a little bit why. He has had an outstanding season this year for Iowa. Second down and five. It's a procedure call. It looked like the Aztecs jumped first. Officials discussing it. Denny Stoll's a little upset. Whack coach of the year. Offside, defense, first down. 30 yards in penalties now against San Diego State. Put the ball down at the eight-yard line. First down, goal to go. Denny Stills has got to be very pleased that his club is 15 points ahead. He also has to be somewhat concerned in that if Iowa can get in here, certainly a touchdown down middle of the third quarter. They've got a chance. That's Bayless. Bayless down to about the two-yard line. Randy Kirk, 35, led the way for the tacklers in there for the Aztecs. And this fellow runs the ball, doesn't he? It's tough to figure Straight out why. Straight up style. Why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It has worked this drive. Iowa has uh, been able to run the football right down San Diego State's throat. Bayless now over the 100-yard mark, 103 yards. They put it down at the one. And did they get in. David Hudson is in for the touchdown. wonder if they'll go for two points. I think you have to in this situation. You're nine points down. Obviously, a two-point conversion pulls you to within one touchdown. As you see David Hudson up and over, and it's very close. As he is met by a host of red helmets. It just has to cross the plane, of course, and yep. it did. Well, they're going to go for two. Robert Smith is set wide to the left side. as the lone wide out over there. Classic over the middle. And he's got him, Robert Smith. The two-point conversion is good. He beat Lyndon early on the play. The single wideout set left. They set him down and brought him back the other way for the two-pointer. And a great throw from Mark Vlasic. They went 47 yards in seven plays. They get the two-pointer, and we'll take a timeout. The Aztecs lead it 28-21. Ball game down by seven. 4.58 remaining to be played in the third quarter. Marv Cook set to kick off. Corey Gilmore and Monty Gilbreth back to receive. A very short kick. Taken by one of the up men at the 25-yard line, and he brings it back across the 30 to about the 32. It's Troy Reed, number 37, the junior from Roland Heights, California. 
Jim Riley, 95, the linebacker, making the stop. And the Aztecs will take it from their own 32-yard line. It will be interesting to see now if uh, that score really helps this Iowa defense in terms of intensity and just feeling like they're back in the football game. They've been down for quite some time, and they've also been frustrated by the San Diego State offense. Alfred Jackson set wide to the right. Handoff going to Hardy. Hardy keeps gaining yardage as he is out to the 38-yard line, hit by George Davis, 37, and Kerry Burton, number three. And a pickup on the play of about seven yards. It'll be third and a long three. If you would have told Hayden Fry that San Diego State would run the football like this on his defense, he'd never bought it. Second down. play and this time it doesn't go Hardy is hit at about the 38 yard line JJ Puck number 32 made the tackle Puck, who's had some playing time and done very well this evening it's going to be third down and four Santos throwing to the far side and wide open is Tony Gilbert. I'm going to ask you again, are the cornerbacks playing too soft? Kenny Sims made the tackle. Well, once again, same as last time. They bring the inside linebackers, and Kenny Sims is eight yards off and well inside of Monty Gilbert. And when you have to pick up four or five yards, you can see how far Sims is away. I would think you've got to move your corners up and challenge those receivers to try and beat you deep. That's the purpose of the blitz, to put so much pressure on the quarterback. He has no time. Here's that play. He's been open almost every time, David. Really has. First down at the 48-yard line. Hardy. Just about back to the line of scrimmage. John Breeze made the stop. Penalty marker down. It's going to be a personal foul. Kenny Sims and a San Diego State player got into it a bit. Both of them pushed each other, and we'll wait and see who they cut. Personal foul on the Aztecs. Guess that answers the question. Denny Stoles will certainly not like this. Coach Stoles was talking about the coaches in the Big Ten coming out onto the field. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's out on there a little bit, too. Complaining about his court being too short. Yeah. Dead ball. Personal foul, offense, second down. Santos, 14 out of 23, 193 yards. He's thrown for three touchdowns, thrown two interceptions. Good time to screen or draw, second and long. Mitch Burton, 87, is in the ball game now for San Diego State. Pass over the middle goes to Gilmore. Gilmore down at about the 44 yard line. Met there by Mike Burke, number five, and George Davis, 37. Davis, the linebacker, has had himself a fine game. Santos numbers. It's going to be third down, 19. Plum, number 19, comes in as a wide receiver. Aztecs are spread out all over the field for quarterback Todd Santos. And it is complete. Let's see where they're going to mark it. Monty Gilbert high to the air made a fine reception. I believe he's got the first down. Kyle Crow number 18 on the tackle. It'll depend on where they spot the football. They spread the defense. They sent four receivers down, and Gilbert right in the seam again. The play he utilized in the first half. Great throw and an excellent catch. And when Denny Stoll said this young freshman may very well be his best wide receiver, he knew exactly what he was talking about. I think they're going to measure. They're bringing in the chains. And they are about a foot shot. The fans here saying, let's go, go, go. Aztecs leading at 28 to 21. A lot of time left. 207 left in this third quarter. And that's a killer defensively. You've got to club down, pin down, third and 19. 
and you allow them to not pick up the first down, but you allow them to line up and go for it on fourth and one. There are the Aztecs of Coach Denny Stoles. Santos asking for quiet. It might have been a busted play, but he pitches back, and they get it from Gilmore. And he got the first down by about a half a yard. Kerry Burke, number three, made the play. It's the same play they uh, used in the first half to run the two-point conversion successfully, just run the other way. Aiden Fry is club down 28 21 a minute and 50 to go this san diego state aztec bunch battling them to the hilt going long jackson oh, right through his fingertips they were going for the big one with jackson again keaton smiley 44 the cornerback had the coverage Todd, Todd Sanders knows that that pass was on the money. Alfred Jackson trying to come back as he entered the band section. Let's take a look at it. Jackson, very good speed and very good coverage by Smiley. Football comes down. Tough to see from that angle. It appeared that Jackson had a chance to catch the ball. He limps off, and Brent Blanchard, 83, comes in for him. Gilmore, number 30, along with Hardy, 34 in the backfield. Getting it out to Gilmore on the little screen. He's at the 30, the 25, the 20. And the Aztecs have had a lot of success with screens here tonight. Davis, 37, made the tackle. It's a first down for San Diego State. Good call at a good time. And Corey Gilmore does a lot of this on his own. Santos takes two or three steps back. Here's the screen. Doug Aronson out in front. The block right there dips inside Gilmore back to the outside. He sets up his wide receivers so they make good blocks. And another big play for San Diego State. You mentioned Doug Aronson. He was on the All-America third team of the Associated Press. All whack the form of the last two years. Coming back from some congenital hip problems. That's Hardy. Hardy near the 10-yard line. Kerry Burtz. Number three, George Davis, 37, on the tackle. The job these two backs have done, Hardy and Gilmore, and we failed to mention that this year they have fumbled the ball and lost it only four times. That's remarkable, and that you can see how many times that they handle the football. At the 11-yard line, second down, a long five. They're coming after Santos. On a delay, he gives it over the middle to Gilmore, and he's to the seven. The Hawkeyes don't blitz very often, but they were coming that time. Bruce Gear, number 94, on the stop. 28-21, the Aztecs leading. 25 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter in this 1986 SeaWorld Holiday Bowl. Twenty-six seniors appearing in their last game as Aztecs, and time is going to run out. A lot of those seniors have been moved from one position to another, and it has been quite a season. Aiden Fries, Iowa Club, down by seven, as when we come back, the fourth quarter will unfold here at Jack Murphy Stadium. to take a look at uh, the total yardage in this game. San Diego State with 336. As I mentioned, Iowa first in the Big Ten in total defense. They gave up an average of about 275 yards. San Diego State well past that after three quarters. Here are the Aztecs on third down and one at the seven-yard line.
going in, and he got a wonderful block from a freshman out there, number 87, Mitch Burton. And San Diego State running behind Doug Aronson, Mike Knudsen. An excellent block all the way around on the left side. He breaks tackles and scores. The extra point by Kevin Rahill is good. And with just four seconds gone in the fourth period, the Aztecs lead it 35-21. Deep handoff allows Hardy to utilize great vision. You don't have to see much to see that hole. Hardy breaks two arm tackles. He's into the end zone. And I'm sure Iowa defensively has to be stunned. Giving up 34, 35 points now. We just started the fourth quarter. It's been an impressive performance by San Diego State. Both coaches did tell us yesterday that they expected a pretty wide open game, and that's certainly come to pass. It's been a fun game to watch. I think Iowa certainly would have rather had this game been a bit more conservative. They find themselves down 14 now, and I think forced to throw the football maybe a bit more than they would like. Well, in their last game, Iowa made a terrific comeback against Minnesota. They're going to have to come back here down 35-21. Robert Smith, number two, and Kevin Harmon, number 28, set to receive the kickoff. It will come from Ray Hill. This is Robert Smith. He's at the 20. Cuts it back, gets to the 30. Brought down just over the 30-yard line. Chris Jensen again doing the job. Number 47, he's been excellent on the special teams. 68 yards in 12 plays. It took 5.02, and Hardy went in from seven yards out. We we'll get word that, as we look at the Iowa bench, that Rob Awalt has a left shoulder sprain. He might return. It was Mitch Burton playing for him, the freshman 87, that sprung the block that got Hardy in. Getting an update, too, on Levy Asseni, and we'll tell you about that in a moment. First and 10. Vlasic's in trouble. He got out of there. And Vlasic throws over the middle and completes it at the 45-yard line. And now a fumble, and the Aztecs say they've got the football, and there's also a penalty marker down. So we'll wait till this one unravels. <laughs> this play had a little bit of everything. The officials talking it over. Hudson was the man who caught the pass. It's a complete pass to Hudson. Tackle made by Hicks. Here it is. Classic. 6'3 and about 210 pounds. It looks as though he's going to go down. He's sandwiched right in there. And here he comes. Outside. Now they call roughing the passer. Here's the throw. And here's the hit. Very tough to call. Nevertheless, that will give Iowa a first down. A nice job by Jim Morrow. As he ducks inside, he knows Vlasic is in trouble. Puts his hands up, stands, takes a couple of steps back towards the front. Defense. Automatic the catch first was down. made, as you see, by Morrow and not Hudson. That was Hudson who was there coming in. And the ball got away in under there. And Stoltz is really upset. We get word that Levy Asseni injured his left ankle for San Diego State. He is out of the game. He's now first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Showing blitz, don't come. Classic throws, and it's complete. Marv Cook, number 84. Lyndon Early, 21 on the tackle. Cook has been a top tackler on the special teams. He also kicks off. He caught seven in the last three games for Iowa this year. A little bit of a San Diego State medicine here. The seam pattern, nice throw by Vlasic. Cook right down the field. Behind the linebackers in front of the secondary, and that's a play that San Diego State has utilized. Think about Iowa. They are down 14 points, but they are very capable of throwing the football effectively. They can get back in this game in a hurry. First down at the 32-yard line. Still a lot of time, 14 minutes to play in the game. Classic. Hit from behind. Fumble recovered by Iowa. San Diego State's Milt Wilson, number 33, came in there and jarred the ball loose. And it was Herb Wester who recovered the fumble. 
Well, this is how you lose a quarterback. Vlasic's back looking down the field. You'll see Wilson come around the top of the screen. Vlasic never sees him, and that hurts. He beats Herb Wessner on the play. Wester was able to come oh, up with that yeah, ball. Milt Wilson from Los Angeles, the freshman. Four sacks for minus 36 yards for San Diego State. And second and 19. And they're blitzing again. And Richard Brown knocks Classic down all the way back at the 45. And the Hawkeyes bought it offensive line. Having real trouble here. Well, they're having trouble, as you can see. There's a free safety blitz. Here comes Harold Hicks. Richard Brown, the inside linebacker, is coming. They send the sink. Not enough potties to pick up the guys in the black shirts. And not enough time for the quarterback to get rid of the football. They gambled. They won. There are the sacks now. Five for San Diego State's club. And it's third and 29. Intercepted on the far sideline. Pass intended for Robert Smith over there, and he's hurt. Smith was jammed over there, and it was Steve Lauder, number 20, the strong safety. This is when you know as a receiver that the ball is taking too long and you're going to get tagged. Robert Smith takes a look at Steve Lauder, sticks his headgear right on Robert Smith's number two. Smith out and up, and here comes Lauder. Boy, and I'll tell you what, Benjamin too. That is a big time shot. Let's hope just the wind was knocked out. Jay, you always get that feeling as a receiver when it just doesn't get there in time, and you know you're going to take it. Well, they're still attending. To him, Kerry Burt. Who of course plays over on the other side at strong safety has now come into the game for Iowa. Bird apparently will operate as a wide receiver. Well, we've got a fourth down, of course, so he's in there probably on the specialty unit. They're still attending. We're going to take a timeout with 12:32 left to play. Thirty five twenty one. We mentioned that San Diego State has five sacks that ties the Holiday Bowl record set by Navy in 78. Now on fourth down. The punt by Castrobala and it is going to be down inside the five yard line. Good effort by Gary. Custer Bala, 47-yard punt by the senior from Oaklawn, Illinois. A 39.8 average over his career. And we... have exactly 12-18 to play in this game. 35-21, to 21, the Aztecs leading the Hawkeyes. Three timeouts remaining for each club. Working on... Robert Smith. Smith has a date in the Japan Bowl, and hopefully he'll be able to make it. Deep in their own territory, the Aztecs. And off going to Hardy. They go to Hardy when they need a yard or two, and he gets about two, and that's all. John Breeze, 57, and Jeff Dross, 75, making the play. Time right now for this Iowa defense to start thinking about turnover. 12 minutes to go in the game. They're down two touchdowns. They need something big from the defensive unit. See the stats for Santos. He certainly is one of the best in the college ranks right now. Got to be careful down here. Nothing doing. Hardy again trying the left side. John Breeze, 57, makes the tackle. All still inside the five-yard line at the three. It's going to be third down and nine. Hayden Fry's defense 
Trying to stop the Aztecs down deep and get the football back for the offense. With 11 minutes remaining in this game. Pass is complete to Gilmore, and Gilmore is hit by George Davis, number 37, as he got to the five-yard line. So Wayne Ross, the junior punter for the Aztecs, will come out. He's been the best in the school's history over the years. And he's been uh, good tonight, too, a 46-yard average. Ross was working recently, in fact, went to buy a car from a former San Diego State assistant, Gary Zahner, and suggested he might take a look at him, and he helped his putting as he was in a bit of a slump. Let's see what he can do here. Marciano is downfield to receive it. Marciano at midfield. And down he goes as he retreated and tried to get something going. He's brought down at the 48-yard line. A 45-yard punt. Andy Damon, number 58, was down there for San Diego State. 10-15 left on the clock here at Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego. Aztecs 35, Hawkeyes 21. Jay Randolph here in San Diego's Jack Murphy Stadium. The Aztecs have the lead. The Hawkeyes with the football. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. The pitch comes back to Harmon. Harmon down the sidelines doing a nice job. Picks up about eight yards. Well, they say he stepped out at the 44-yard line. Randy Kirk, number 35, ran him out over there. Kevin Harmon, 154 yards and a 4.2 average coming into this one. Wilder, number 42, the linebacker out of Claremont High School here in San Diego. This fellow's only 5'10", 185, but is he a determined performer? He's coming off. He's been replaced by Chuck Nixon, number 41, who was originally a part-time safety on this team. Inside the 35-yard line for a first down. Richard Brown, number 50, made the stop. They've announced the attendance in the house, 59,473. It was a sellout. All 60,400 tickets sold. A great tribute to the fans of Iowa and San Diego State and the fans of Southern California. You don't teach running ability like that in the last two plays. Kevin Harmon. Going long, and he's got Morrow incomplete. Jim Morrow, number 47 out of Des Moines, the senior. He was the second leading receiver this year with 28. Another walk-on for Iowa. Clock stopped with nine and a half minutes to play. Classic nine of 19, 132 yards. He's thrown one interception. It's imperative that they score on this drive under 10 minutes to go. There are two touchdowns down. And the way San Diego State moving the football offensively, you'd think that if they don't score, they've got uh, a lot of problems. Osig's got a man through behind him. Quinn Early was in the clear at the 22-yard line. The pass a little too much behind him and he just couldn't turn in time to make the catch got a hand on it the amazing stat in this game as we have nine and a half to play is the rushing yardage Iowa 113 San Diego State 106 and you look at those passing stats 243 for San Diego State 132 for Iowa third and ten Official stepped in, and now we're ready to go. Morrow is set wide to the right, early to the left side. They try to go to early here. And instead, they go to the tight end flag, and flag comes up short. Well, you wonder why he threw that football there, because he knew he didn't have the needed yardage. 
Brown making the tackle, and Flag comes back limping. I'm sure they'll go for it on fourth down, but Quinn Early ran the exact same pattern he had to play before and was wide open. Mark Classic has struggled some throughout the night, and when your quarterback struggles, your offense struggles. Robert Smith coming back into the game. That's good news for the Iowa bunch. Early goes to the right side with Smith. And here it is, fourth and four at the 29. Lassie completes it, and that's Marr Cook for the touchdown. West Branch, Iowa, hurdler in high school. And he gets a very big score. Classic stands in the pocket. Good pass rush on the outside. Makes the throw a little bit behind Cook. He adjusts, catches it, and is off to the races. And you can take the uh, patient off the life support system, at least for the time being. Iowa is still breathing. They certainly are. Eight and a half minutes to play. Hopland. Touchdown, <laughs> or two points, I should say. <laughs> I'm thinking, wow, how about that? That was Dave Murphy. They fake off the point after and go in and get two. Well, how about that? Chuck Hartley, the quarterback, with the two-point conversion, gives him a chance to win it with the touchdown. A most interesting play at this point in the proceedings. And it is now 35-29, the Aztecs. Cook kicking off. Gilmore at the 20. Penalty marker goes down as he got to the 25-yard line. Craig Clark, number 49, downfield to make the stop. Looks Officials. as though it's going to be San Diego State. Yeah, I think so. It'll go again, holding against San Diego State. Eight and a half minutes to play. Scoring drive, 51 yards in six plays, with a minute and 36. Hook scoring, and then they get the two-pointer off the fake on the extra point. We've had such drastic changes in momentum tonight. Iowa going right down the field and scoring, and seemingly San Diego State getting back in it. Then they're ahead two touchdowns. Now, momentum towards Iowa. Let's see what San Diego State can do. Out at the 17-yard line. And off going to Hardy. Hardy trying to get outside and does an excellent job as he reaches the 25. Tyrone Taylor, number 39 on the stop. Hardy's really impressed me. This fella can run the football. At 947 yards, and you can see why he has been the workhorse on the ground for San Diego State. Only 53 yards from becoming the first San Diego State player ever to rush for 1,000 yards in two consecutive years. In this game tonight, he has 79 on 21 carries. The 24-yard line. Hardy stopped by Jeff Drost, number 76. And Drost is limping again. Remember, he was injured in the second period. And I think they should, yeah, they're going to get him out of there. He's a tough kid. Hayden Price said he had the meanest mean streak of any player he'd ever coached. And I can guarantee you, Drost didn't want to come out. He didn't want to be helped off the field. is coming out. Send out. I 
Jerome Berry, number 48. Number 32 is also out there on defense. It's third down and three from the 24. Santos. And all right through the hands of the intended receiver over there on the far side at the 35-yard line, Alfred Jackson. And they would have had the first down. Well, this is the play that uh, if San Diego State is unable to hold on, they will look back and say this could have been the turning point. Santos with the delivery. Jackson a bit high, but clearly has a chance to catch the football. Should have caught the football. And San Diego State has to punt. Wayne Ross, three punts, 45.7 average on the night. Peter Marciano, nephew of the late heavyweight champion. Rocky Marciano is back downfield, and he can fly if he gets an opportunity. Oh, what a tremendous kick. Back in the 25, Marciano trying to find something, and he doesn't as he returned only to the 30-yard line. 52-yard punt, a six-yard return. Bart Kalbach was downfield for San Diego State to make the stop. at the 1986 SeaWorld Holiday Bowl in San Diego. This sellout crowd is watching a dandy. Yesterday at the luncheon, I said it was the nation's most exciting bowl series over the years. The short time it's been underway, and we've got another one here. On first and 10 from the 30, that's Kevin Harmon going the wrong way. And Mario Mitchell, who has had an outstanding night on defense, makes the tackle. Penalty marker down. Might have been a face mask call coming up. Let's see. Here's the case when Kevin Harmon tries to do a bit too much. He's extremely quick. He's very gifted. But right now, he's losing yardage. Mario Mitchell comes up with the left hand. You can see there is the face mask. Unfortunate for San Diego State. Defense. Clipping. Offense. Penalty's offset. Uh, we've got clipping on down. the offense, so they'll bring it back to the original line of scrimmage. And then he stole <laughs> tearing his hair out. Look. Well, that's, Iowa will settle for that because they are going to be second in about 22, and now they're first and 10. What a competitive guy. Delight to be around Denny Stoles. Well, he certainly came in here and created a new chemistry. Most definitely. And of course, Hayden Fry's era has been one of the finest ever college football. The job he has done. Over the middle, too high. Intended for Marv Cook, the tight end. Pass just a little high, stopping the clock with six and a half minutes to play. San Diego State has been penalized seven times for 70 yards. Iowa, four times for 16 yards. Mark Classic has struggled somewhat tonight. In that case, Marv Cook just quit running. Classic with a throw that might have been completed. Cook, after he got by the linebacker, simply stopped. Second down and 10 at the 30-yard line. Going long for Morrow. Tapped away. Mario Mitchell again is down there. Pettit was putting a lot of pressure on Vlasic as he got it away. Jim Morrow, fine possession receiver. Little out and up move. Mario Mitchell bites, but he's got great recovery speed and as we said earlier Mario Mitchell considered to be one of the fine young defensive backs in college football and that's a pretty good indication as to why now they don't throw in his direction very often and he moved to Los Angeles in 78 you mentioned born in Panama the son of a ship's cook third and ten from the 30 and timeout called by Blassett a penalty marker drop, Dave, over here on the near sideline at the 30-yard line. I would call timeout before the movement. Yeah, Robert Smith took off like he was in a sprint, and uh, 
Vlasic called timeout because Harold Hicks was on a free safety blitz and evidently unpicked, unpicked up. He's going to be unable to throw the football. It's third down and uh, 10 yards to go. They need this down. I think a smart call by Mark Vlasic. It is 35 to 29, the Aztecs. Two timeouts remaining for the Hawkeyes. The Aztecs with three. San Diego State has racked up 16 first downs to 15 for Iowa. Aiden Fry, sixth straight bowl game, eighth overall for him. Of course, uh, Iowa won a Rose Bowl in 57. They beat Oregon State 35 to 19. They won in 59, 38 to 12 over California. They lost 28 to nothing to Washington in the Rose Bowl in 82. Guy era won 28 22 over Tennessee in the Peach in 82. In 83, they lost 14 to 6 to Florida in the Gator. In 84, they won 55 to 17 over Texas in the Freedom Bowl. And of course, they lost. Last New Year's Day, 45-28 to UCLA in the Rose Bowl. Here we are again, third down and 10, and look at the towels going. Trying to get them going, and this crowd comes to its feet for San Diego State. Classic throws, and he's got a man for the first down. It's Quinn Early. A big catch by Quinn Early. Early down at the 48-yard line. Last time we told you San Diego State blitzed and they won. This time they blitzed and they lost. Quinn Early wide open because of the blitz coverage. Nice job by Mark Vlasic stepping up in the pocket, not losing his composure and throwing a very important first down throw. Early can really fly. Vlasic out of Monica, Pennsylvania. Harold Barlow, number 86, comes in to replace Cooper, number 95, a defensive end for San Diego State. Classic over the middle, he's got his man, and that is early again at the 32-yard line, another first down. You saw Mark Classic before the start of the play motion to Quinn Early and cross his arms. Quinn Early crosses right in the middle of the field, Classic right on the button. A little behind him, Quinn Early with a nice catch. Two impressive throws by Mark Classic. nice catches by Quinn Early. Credit the tackle to the free safety, Harold Hicks. At the 32-yard line, first down, five minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Hudson, another first down inside the 20-yard line. And now this offensive line of the Iowa Hawkeyes doing quite a job. David Hudson breaking tackles. Randy Kirk, the leading tackle for San Diego State this season, had a shot at him. At about four yards behind the line of scrimmage and uh, couldn't bring him down. First and ten at the 20. They're in the fourth quarter. That's Hudson to the 17 yard line where Richard Brown, the middle linebacker who's had an outstanding night, number 50, made the stop. Five you know, minutes to play. You look at uh, Hayden Fry and you get the impression that Hayden would like to score but he'd like to use about four minutes and 58 seconds because he didn't want to give Todd Sanders a chance to come back and beat him. 4.50 to play. Nobody's left this stadium. Set up this play nicely. Classic back, he draws the defensive lineman, then he dumps it over their head to, to Harmon. Kevin Harmon, quite an athletic talent. Here you'll see exactly why men don't fly. Harmon gets knocked out of bounds. Harmon's had some second half. Really has. Ball at the four yard line, first down, goal to go. 428 left to play. Pass into the end zone for the score, and it is Mike Flagg. 
Flag, who a short time ago caught that ball on his knees for the two-point play, catches this one for the touchdown. And it's 35 all. You gotta love this call. Iowa lines up with a power eye. They fake, dump it over the middle, and Mike Flag with the touchdown catch. Flag four catches for 66 yards. And Coach Fry and his bunch are fired up now. Point after, Rob Hovland. It is good. Well, the Aztecs were down early, 7-6. to six. They battled back and led at halftime, 21-13. to 13. But in this fourth period, the Hawkeyes have scored 15 points to the Aztecs, seven, after the Hawkeyes had eight and the Aztecs seven in the third, and it is 36-35 Iowa. Once again, lined up in the power eye. They've been running David Hudson in this drive, and Hudson fakes inside. Mike Flagg with the touchdown. And I think you have to give credit to the Iowa offense. They kept their composure. They moved the football. They culminated the drive with a nice catch by Mike Flagg, and they are ahead once again in this ballgame. Well, we've talked about, with the exception of that 82 game, when Ohio State beat Brigham Young 47-17, to these have all been close over the years. This the ninth Holiday Bowl game, and boy, it has been a damn. Jay, we talked to Denny Stoles yesterday, and something that he said comes to mind immediately. He said, I just want a chance in the last quarter to win it with the last drive. Yeah, he said, I'd like to have a close ball game and like to have the ball last. And that's maybe what it's going to be. Let's see. Here's the kickoff. One of the up men bobbles it, picks it up, comes back with it. That's number 86, Harold Barlow. He's a defensive end normally, but he looked pretty good right there returning it. Tackle made by Tyrone Berry, number 48. The scoring drive, they went 70 yards in eight plays. It took them two minutes, 37 seconds, and flag scoring on the pass from Blassett. 4.20 to go. Hawkeyes lead by one. They put up 71 points between them tonight. Santos has time throwing and a catch at the 42-yard line. Monty Gilbreth in Sims, number nine, had the coverage over there. Well, this is the pass when Todd Santos let this thing fly. And Denny Stoles grabbed his head. He kind of floated this thing to the outside. It looked as though it had a chance to be intercepted. Kenneth Sims tried to go for the interception and simply misjudged the football. Second down and four at the 42. Santos over the middle. That's complete to Gilmore. And Gilmore is down at about the 47-yard line. Very, very close to the first down. Tackle made by Joe Mott, number 97. It is a first down. That'll stop the clock with 4.06 to play. Iowa Hawkeyes leading the San Diego State Aztecs 36-35. Defensively, that last play, they rushed three players. Can't do that against Todd Sanders. They'll go right down the field and score. You have got to bring more than three and just hope that you get to him before he gets to you. Sanders is 20 out of 31. Gilmore on the draw. Nothing shaking for him. Fine play by Dave Haight, number 64, the nose guard, all Big Ten performer. There's Ray Hill, Kevin Ray Hill's longest field goal this season, a 42-yarder. He'd like nothing better than to have the opportunity to get his club back on top. Three minutes and 20 seconds to play. Second down and 11 at the 46. They're blitzing. And the pass is away incomplete. I mentioned earlier on that Iowa doesn't blitz very often, but they were coming that time. Pressure bothers the quarterback when it comes up the middle. Watch where you see white jerseys right here. They get to Todd Sanders just as he releases the football. 
George Davis, once again, they force him to throw a little bit before he wants to. And now it's third down and 11. Alfred Jackson replaces Blanchard in the lineup. Third and 11 from the 46-yard line. Out of the shotgun. Santos has time. Going long for Jackson. And it is caught. First down inside the 10. Jackson going up between two Hawkeyes made the catch. Ken Sims and Kyle Crow were there. What a remarkable play, 45 yards. I think Santos made up his mind that he was going to throw this football to Jackson no matter what. And you can see the excellent coverage by Kenneth Sims and Cal Crow, all three go up, and Jackson with the remarkable catch comes down with the football. I tell you what, that's something that will break a coach's heart. Great coverage, and yet the receiver makes the catch. He has two catches for 89 yards now, and a touchdown. Chris Hardy is dumped for a loss. He tried to go to the right side, and Joe Mott came up there to make the play. Two and a half minutes to play. Now, if you're Hayden Fry, you've got to be concerned with stopping the clock as well as stopping San Diego State. Let's go, big defense! Come on, team! The Aztecs with three timeouts left. The Hawkeyes with two. 36-35 Iowa. The Aztecs. Second and 12. down to about the seven yard line. Jay, I was got to call timeout. There's a minute 53 to go. They've got two timeouts. J.J. Puck, 32. John Breeze, 57 on the last tackle. Hayden Fry has not called timeout, and they're down to 140. Hayden urging the defense to get the football loose from San Diego State. They're allowing so much precious time to run off this clock. A minute 30. Third down and seven. Hardy down to the five. And they'll call on Kevin Rahill and the field goal kicking unit. Clock still running with a minute and ten. I don't understand this at all. Mike Burke made the stop. Jim Plum will hold. Now Hayden Fry calls timeout. And they get it. They let a lot of very valuable time run off the clock here on the scoreboard at Jack Murphy Stadium. And I'm sure Hayden was thinking he wanted to save both timeouts for his offensive unit, but you're not going to have enough time for your offensive unit to utilize the two timeouts. If he says you want to ice the kicker, you're icing the kicker but it's going to be a 22-yard field goal. I don't know how much ice you could put on the kicker from that distance. Ray Hill was 12 out of 17 field goals coming into this one, as long as 42. And he has an opportunity, of course, to win it. But the key play was the absolutely remarkable catch by Alfred Jackson. And, of course, he made a big catch earlier on. 44-yarder, 6.38 left in the second period to give them the 14-7 lead. Great catch by Jackson, excellent coverage. The receiver just came down with the football. Maybe Iowa feels like they've got a, a realistic chance to break through and block this kick. Tough to let that much time run off the clock. The ball will be spotted at the 12. 22-yarder. The wind has not been a factor here tonight. Kevin Wells, the center. Jim Plum, the holder. You can tell by the reaction that San Diego State has the lead with 47 seconds remaining.
nothing sweeter to look up and see that football sail between the uprights. You can see Denny Stoll's reaction. A happy man. Kickers take a lot of abuse, but I'll tell you what, when they make them, they're the favorite on the team. <laughs> that may be the biggest field goal that young man has ever kicked. It has been a remarkable season for San Diego State. The Aztecs of Denny Stoll, one of the big turnarounds in college football history in recent years. And they are 47 seconds away from winning this 86 Holiday Bowl. They have a 38-36 advantage. Kevin Rayhill will put the ball in play. Now the Hawkeyes have one timeout remaining. Of course, in college football, on a first down, the clock stops. It's Kevin Harmon bringing it up. Down the sideline he goes. And this one isn't over yet. Woo! Ray Hill, the man who kicked off, made the stop along the sideline. Well, if you like excitement, we have a lot of it tonight. Kevin Harbin dips up inside, sees the opening, great speed and quickness, and all of a sudden, guys in the black are chasing guys in the white. Couldn't have been a bigger play at a bigger time for Iowa. Iowa got a big break against Minnesota. Minnesota had 12 men on the field, and Hoffman had an opportunity to kick again and got the field goal in that won it. 39 seconds remaining. Handoff going to Hudson. Hudson is down near the 30-yard line. Let's call it the 31. Clock running inside 30. Yep. Get on the line of scrimmage. Head at number 94 on the tackle. One timeout left for the Hawkeyes. Much time. Taking a great deal of it, you know. No question about that, Dave. Lost it all kinds of time, and he's going to throw it away. 11 seconds. I would think they have time for one play. They've got to try to get a completion that maybe is in Hopland's range. He tried a 62 yarder earlier in the game and came up way short. The ball is just over the 30 yard line. If he was to go from this point, it would be about a 47-yarder. Rick Bayless comes into the game. There's Rob Hoffman waiting on the sidelines. I would be a bit surprised to see Iowa run the football in this situation. They give it to Bayless. Bayless going through, and he fights his way down to the 24. Timeout is called with four seconds left. Or did they call timeout? They got the first down, but I think they also called timeout. They did. Four seconds remaining. So the ball is just inside the 25-yard line. It's probably going to be about a 41-yard attempt. Outland has kicked a 49-yarder this year. Big one last year to beat Michigan in Iowa City, so he's certainly capable of coming through at crunch time. His 37 yarder won it against Minnesota as time ran out. <laughs> 41 yarder is what I'm guessing it's going to be when they spot it down. Everybody in this stadium is standing. What a tremendous performance by both these clubs, Dave. It really has been an exciting game. You almost wish that somehow the, the two teams could tie and everybody could go home a winner. Chuck Hartley will hold. Now they're going to call timeout and try to ice him a little bit. Turnaround is fair play, although this, this uh, field goal considerably longer than the other one. 
Iowa scored first on a five-yard run by Bayless. 8-10 of the first period to make it 7-0. San Diego State came back with a six-yard pass. Santos to Hardy. The extra point was missed, and it was a 7-6 lead still for Iowa. That's the way the first period ended. 44-yard pass to Jackson. 14-7 with 6.38 left in the second. Classic scoring from one yard out. That made it a 14-13 score. 2.22 left in the second period. 28-yard pass to Gilbreth made it 21-13. And that's the way it was at halftime. San Diego State leading. Gilmore scoring. 7.52 of the third period to make it 28-13 San Diego State. Hudson from one yard out, 4.58 of the third, 28-21, as we came to this last period of play. And that was Hardy, and Cook, flag, 21-yard field goal a moment ago, and here we are, high pass, the kick is away, and it is good! Oh, what a job Hartley did, getting the ball down for Hotland, and... The Iowa Hawkeyes have won it 39-38. What a tremendous kick under pressure. The kickoff return by Harmon of 48 yards was a new Holiday Bowl record. It was vitally important in setting up the field position to give the Hawkeyes a chance to win it. Well, another stunner in the Holiday Bowl. There's Coach Stoles headed for the locker room, a disappointing head coach, but what a remarkably fine year it's been for them. Hawkeyes win it 39-38. Well, it's a happy new year already for the Iowa Hawkeyes who've journeyed here along with about 12,000 of their fans and they win this one. And I'll tell you, it was a super football game. It really was, David. I'll tell you what, not much to say. Great offensive performance by both clubs and we certainly got every bit of football that we bargained for here tonight. Hartley got the high pass from center down. Outland got the kick away. It's the fourth time in two years that he's won a football game for Iowa like that. Rob Hopland is our Budweiser MVP as he wins it as time runs out for Hayden Fry's Iowa Hawkeyes. Rob Hopland, our player of the game, and what a job he did. Well, his great pressure, a uh, 41-yard field goal. The snap was high. Way Excellent high. job of Harley to get the, the placement down. You can see Denny Stoles obviously very disappointed when that thing goes through. Well, Denny Stoles has done, as we said right at the top of this telecast, a truly remarkable job turning things around here. He's going to be back with that chemistry of his, and we look forward to seeing them play again, and, of course, the Iowa Hawkeyes. And the final score again, Iowa 39, San Diego State 38. The 1986 SeaWorld Holiday Bowl has been brought to you by the Campbell Soup Company, makers of quality products for over 100 years. And by Michelob Light, super premium taste in a less filling beer. Who says you can't have it all? And by Budweiser, Beachwood Age for that clean...